Guys, I just glassed up my first brown oak shed of the year and it's hanging on a scrub oak. So badass. And then I have another one glassed up maybe a hundred yards above it. It looks like a decent white. They both look like good sheds, so freaking stoked. Hell yeah, let's go pick them up. Here's the white that I glassed up. little four point missing his second all right hopefully the brown is bigger than that this one looked bigger through the scope there it is first brownie in 2022 it's a little five point First brownie of 2022, elk brownie that is, just a little five point, man. This is typically what I'm looking for when I'm looking for elk sheds. Fresh rubs, if you see green branches on the ground next to a rub, it means it's fairly fresh. That means that there's elk sheds nearby. guys I'm just hiking through this saddle just spotted a drop bowl across the ravine from me and I was thinking man it'd be cool to find an elk shed right here sure enough look what we got right there brown six point baby yes First human to lay hands on this elk antler. Pretty cool. Man, I think, I think I recognize this bull. I think me and my buddy Clint got on this bull. I think he was a five by six, if I remember correctly. He's kind of got a wavy look to his main beam. That's how I think I recognize him. I don't know, I'll have to go compare some video, but I think, yeah, I think that this is that bull. He was with some really nice bulls too, so maybe I can pick up their antlers too if they were all hanging together all winter. Sweet. New backpack. Awesome. It's got all the attachments on it. Kafaru hooked it up. Lid, two outside pouches, Nalgene holder, hip belt. This is the hoodlum. Can't wait to start strapping things to this pack. Guys, this pack is so freaking sick. It's got these external pockets that are actually added to the pack. These do not come with the pack. 
but they're good for compartmentalizing your gear and having quick access to certain things like first aid items or snacks, different things like that. It's got these two side pouches. I'm gonna use it for my spotting scope on the other side for my tripod. And then it's got these straps across the back right here. So I can strap sheds to my backpack. It's got one up here and one down here. Looks like those have pretty good strap length. Man, I'm super excited to use this pack. All right, so I've been using this Exo Mountain Gear K2 5500 pack. And it's been a really good pack. Uh, my biggest complaints have been the strap length on the side. They're not very long, so when you're packing out an animal on the meat shelf in the back there, these straps are really hard to to cinch down when you have a lot of meat back there plus all your gear in your bag so that's been my biggest complaint it still has worked but it's kind of a pain in the butt strapping an animal to these things and then the lumbar support wore out pretty quick i actually just got it replaced so that was another complaint i had about the pack but other than those two things, it's been a dang good pack, but Kafaru was nice enough to send me a pack and I've always wanted to try a Kafaru pack. I've heard that they're just absolutely fantastic packs. I've heard that they're indestructible, bomb proof, and they pack animals and heavy loads very well. So, I am super excited to try this thing out. I'm actually going to switch over all my gear into this and figure out how I want to compartmentalize everything. And then I'm going to go for a little shed hunt today, test it out. Just got all my gear switched over to my new Kafaru. Now I'm going to go find some sheds to strap to it. Let's go. Alright guys, got up into this spot this evening, I actually came up in here to recover a deer shed that I glassed up the other day and can't seem to find it, but I did just glass up a brown elk shed over here, so we're going to go pick this thing up. Well, I found the deer shed I was looking for, finally. That's what I thought it was, like a big brown two point. Cool shed. Sweet. Now we gotta go pick up the elk shed before it gets dark. Well, I knew coming through the scrub oak might pay off. There's a the shed. Oh, yes. I think I have this bull's other side. I think I picked him up last year. Hell yeah. Dope. Guys, let's unveil this thing. Oh yeah. Not a bad bull. Good little six. Got pretty good color on that side that was laying down. It's definitely last year's brown. Man, he has a ton of mass down there at the base. But just doesn't carry it all the way up to his top. Sweet bull though. Glad I made the time to come pick him up. He was a long ways away when I spotted him. I had to kick through a lot of brush to get over here. I thought for sure I'd turn something else up on the way over, but hey, one is better than none. And we might pick some more up on our way out. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'm losing light quick. Oh yeah. Look at this. I was thinking I might find this bull's other side. Heck yeah. I found this bull last year and he was hard white. So this shed's at least two years old. 
This is definitely the same bull. Oh man, I sold his other antler though, so I can't even, I'm like 100% sure that this is the same bull because I picked up his shed just right up on the south face and this one's just down in the bottom here. So he's got the same look, really heavy down at the base, good dished out burr. And then he's got like this slicked back forth and then he's just really short and compact, but a heavy, heavy antler. So that's a good one. That's a good seller shed for sure. Man, I'm stoked about that. I was hoping I'd find it. And I still have this brown up on this hill. So hopefully I can match him up too before it gets dark. Well, it was a little bit tricky finding it. But here we are, old brown six. Nothing crazy. Definitely not a giant bull, but he's actually kind of smaller than I thought he was going to be, but that's all right. Still pretty awesome. Just got all the sheds loaded up on the Kafaru. I'm using that Titan strap as well. But it looks like it should carry nice and evenly. And I have multiple straps. One, two, three, four straps around the sheds on the back of the backpack. So should carry well. Thank you.